Hello, beautiful people. Good morning <clears throat> from sick MJ. Okay, I am having fever, unfortunately, not feeling well since yesterday. I can actually feel it yesterday I'm, that I'm gonna get sick today. <clears throat> I still have this sore throat, which is really, really bad. It makes me gag from time to time. <clears throat> So I'm going to take Norgesic Forte. <clears throat> so Papa is actually going to the doctors today to have his hemodialysis fourth session. And I'm not feeling good. So we're going to be using the Barangay Ambulance. So it's my Papa's cousin who is actually the driver. So at least they can talk to each other. And then once Papa will arrive in the hospital, my sis will meet him there. And then sis will coordinate with, you know, um, sending him to the dialysis room. <clears throat> All right, I'm just going to take some medicine. Actually, this medicine is really good, but it just makes me fall asleep. Like after I take it, I didn't have really good sleep last night because I keep waking up because <clears throat> I keep coughing. And I had runny nose as well. Look how big is this medicine. Super duper big. <clears throat> but finally, <clears throat> I can swallow a tablet. So that's good. Okay, let's take this one. Ah, ugh. I don't like the taste of medicine. And then this Diflam is actually very good. But after like I take it, I lose my sense of taste. But I think that's how it is. It's like a very strong lozenges, I would say. But it really helps a lot with the sore throat. So last night, I was just putting this in my mouth so I can sleep. But by sleeping right now. Okay, I'm still gonna vlog today guys even though I'm not feeling well because we're gonna do an update about the veranda. A lot of you guys are saying it's not a balcony, it's not a terrace, it's a veranda or it's a front porch, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, <clears throat> and then we'll wait for the ambulance to take Papa to the hospital. Hello everyone, I'm here in our new project in Papa's front porch, veranda. So currently right now they are working on the flooring. So we are mixing sand and uh, cement for the flooring right here. So this is how it's looking. It's actually almost done. Ta-da, this is how it looks. So after the flooring, they're gonna proceed with the railing, railings, guys. So for the railings, we're gonna be using at least three steel tube, steel bar, I don't know what you guys call it, but steel tube. And then we're gonna do it from here, going to there, and from there, going here. And then another one in the bottom as well, where we can attach the um, square sing on the square tube or something like that okay so this is how it's looking at the moment um, so you might be wondering um, why we are not including this area to put the railings on and this is because um, by the time that we will have more budget then we can extend the the veranda all the way here in this area so for now, this is what we're doing. And then in the future, obviously we have to extend it so it looks a lot better. Um, so this is how it is so far, guys. 
almost done with the flooring and then we're gonna buy the steel tube because the tube that we have currently is actually really big and we can make use of that um, as an extension later on I mean in the future as the column so we're not gonna make use of that as the railings for this because that's actually very very big we have to use like maybe one and a half and the one that we have purchased is two inches I mean two that's the measurement so it's really big but yeah ah oh, the ambulance is here pa okay so I'm gonna go because the ambulance is here already <laughs> Papa is here. So, how many more kuan? Kadi da imo kuan day. Kana na lang. So we have here the cell phone. Number in the na ripun. Oh, na adi ha Michelle. Biscuit, water, and blanket. Na. Gaan ra kan inday ug kuan ha? Kwarta. Okay, so Papa is going to do his dialysis, guys. So, we're going to go right here. Kita <laughs> <laughs> okay, Papa is there. Why not it? Okay. Alright, guys, so our barangay ambulance just took Papa to his dialysis session. And I'm communicating with sis because sis will be meeting them in the hospital. And sis just told me that they just arrived. So um, it's actually very, very quick. I think like, obviously when you're an ambulance driver, you drive really fast, right? <gasps> what is that panga? You're not supposed to drink, okay? That's the snacks for? No, you cannot drink that lagi. Snacks for Tata and Papa. Okay, so I actually asked mom to go to the city. Okay, I spot for you, it's fine. To go to the city um, to grab a few items because I'm not feeling well. I don't want to drive. So I have here a bunch of fruits, guys. So one bunch of bananas. That's not for Papa, okay? I know a lot of you guys. Um, are saying to not give Papa bananas. I'm not gonna give that to him. Actually, mom did a mistake in purchasing this banana. I actually told her to grab the gardaba na banana. It's like sabah, not this one, um, because we can steam it and we can make it like snacks for uh, my uncle and Atan that's working on the balcony. We have her orange as well. And then we have here tahong shrimp. Um, and then we have here fish as well. So the fish is for Papa, shrimp as well, and then chicken breast. I have been searching on YouTube, like how can I do like a meal prep for Papa? Um, so that at least sis doesn't need to like cook a separate like food for Papa and separate for us as well. So I do have a lot of chicken breast and I think I'm going to do like a stir fry. And then we're gonna put it in the fridge and if he likes to eat we can microwave it to heat it up and then 
So yeah, every time we cook here at home, we would normally cook Papa's food first separately before we put any like salt or you know magic setup or sodium or something like that but yeah <laughs> it's so funny because we are now so careful in checking the ingredients in the back of the packet um, to check the sodium serving like amount um, because it's not very good for you apparently and no more a lot of soy sauce actually like the food here in philippines like consists a lot of soy sauce a lot of vinegar so yeah and knowing papa he is like when he cooks it's very salty that's how he is actually ever since so i think that's what's destroying his kidney hello wow huh okay you snacking what <laughs> nag snack mo nang panggawin niya wala ni help ni tatay ug ni papa niya <laughs> Guys, I'm taking a rest here in the little couch. Say hi to the guys. Hi guys, love. And what can you say about Brownie? Guys, it's so funny. I don't know how Brownie knows, but every every time Tita is sick, Brownie stays in front of my bedroom. How does Brownie know that I'm sick? That's so crazy, right? Look, Brownie is there. He doesn't normally stay in front of my bedroom, you know. He would normally stay in front of the main door and that's it. Or at the bottom of the table. But now that I'm sick, the last time as well, I can recall when I was sick for like how many days? Brownie is just going straight into the front of my bedroom. Brownie is so smart, right? Wow, I love you, Brownie. Brownie's there. Love you, Brownie. Hi, Brownie. <laughs> She's waiting for me. Brownie. See? <laughs> Thank you.
Good people. afternoon, beautiful people. It's currently 5 p.m. right now, and they just finished for today. So we're going there and give you guys an update. Scarlett and I took a nap for about three hours, and I'm feeling a little bit better. That's good. The Norgesic Fort really helps a lot. All right, we're going to the balcony right here. So we'll show you what is the latest update of our little project <laughs> of Panga, do not go there yet. Hi, it's still wet. Oh, okay. All right, people, this is the latest update of Papa's balcony here in front of his bedroom. So it's 5 p.m. They're finished for today. So this is how it looks. As you guys can see, they finished the flooring already. So this is going to be the final flooring for now. Um, we're going to tile this later on but for now this will do and then right here if you guys can see they've already put the railings so we have this one in the top and then this one here in the bottom as well Tada! and then they've actually put something like this to like hold this one and it goes all the way there as well on the other side i think the height from here going here is going to be 100 or something <laughs> okay can you can you step is it already wet <laughs> okay so this is how it's looking guys obviously we still have to render this area right here now you might be wondering why did i not put railings on this side right here you guys can see there is no railings and that's because again in the future we're just gonna go extend it over here so that they will have a bigger um, veranda okay that looks good actually um oh by the way today we have to purchase this one the tube steel thing um, I think the size of this is one and a half because the one that we got before was actually pretty big It was like smaller than this. So it's so big to be used as the railing So we're just gonna make use of that for the extension that we will be having in the front of my sister's area right here So yeah, we got this one and then we also added welding rod and also this Square bar is that what you guys call it? this one so this is gonna go like that guys okay tada so it's gonna go like this that's the railings that we will be having okay so this is a good progress i think tomorrow yeah they should be able to finish putting all this and rendering the bottom as well and that's pretty much it um, the next thing we're going to do is to clean Papa's bedroom. I've actually purchased something for Papa. Uh, it's gonna be his bed. So they are going to bring it today. This is how it looks. Looking good. Looking good so far. Right guys, so Papa has just arrived. Pulling in. <laughs> Papa is there. Let's see how his fourth session of dialysis go. Maybe he's good now. Sis. Sis is also there. Finished for today. There you go. We have package over there. That's for Papa. Okay. Okay. 
Oke dah. Hmm. Musta man. Sakit? Oke dah. Oke. Selamat Noy. Selamat. Lagi. Lagi. Oke. Okay. ih. So we have here the bed that I ordered for Papa guys. We're gonna open it now. Musta man, wa sakit? Wala. <laughs> Alright guys, we have unboxed Papa's new bed in the balcony that is actually almost finished. This is how it looks. I got this one in TikTok and I'm so happy it actually arrived pretty quick. I think I ordered this about when we were still in the hospital. So it was maybe one week because it was holiday last Tuesday and Wednesday. So it arrived today, Friday. So yeah, this is how it looks. This can carry around 200 kilograms and Papa is I think 65. So yeah, it comes with a foam. Tada! And then it also has a pillow. Where's the pillow now? There's a little pillow right here where you can put it like that. 67 kilos? You can put it like this. Look. Tada. No, no. No, no. <laughs> oh. Oh. my gosh. Okay. If Scarlett will see this, she wants to <laughs> sleep here for sure. I'm so afraid with this one. I Not feel like know. it's gonna collapse. But it's locked. Mm -hmm. Right? Exactly. Okay. So, hola, I like this one, guys. It's so nice. But we have to make sure that we're gonna cover this because this is very thick to wash. Oh, this is so relaxing. Oh my goodness. So this is for Papa because he said he wants to sleep like upright like this. He doesn't want to sleep in flat surface. So there you go. Try to do it. It's not lang. Okay, by the way, guys, we do have here a lot of sky flakes. I know. <laughs> a lot of guys said, do not let him eat sky flakes. Okay, yeah, we're getting rid of the sky flakes. Okay, try. Okay. Ah. Flat? 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 Flat?
Diri, diri. Si bugi yang lebut diri, nak. Bengugan ada ni. Oh, anak. Oh, kira. Pui diri sahaja ni muka orang foam. Relax lah. Muka tu ke anak. Anak.